Go with me tonight to the book of Daniel, chapter 3, <coughs> verse 12 through 18. There are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spoke and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do, do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Now if ye be ready, that at the, what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made, well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Amen. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not... Be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. They stood up before the king. He said, Bow down to the, to the statue I made, or be thrown into the furnace. Yeah. They decided to stand up for God, for the God they believed in. They stood up for him. And when they were thrown in the furnace, they made it out. But they stood up before the king. They were going to be thrown in the furnace. They stood up before the king and said, We would rather serve our God and die than to serve you and live. Yes. Yeah. They would rather die for God Come on. than to live to serve the king. Yeah. Amen. <clears throat> 1 Kings chapter 18. Verses 19 through 22. When you have it, say amen. Amen. <coughs> now therefore send and gather to me all Israel unto Mount Carmel, and the prophets of Baal four hundred and fifty, and the prophets of the groves, four hundred, which eat at Jezebel's table. So Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel, and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. And Elijah came unto all the people, and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. Then said Elijah unto the people, I even only... I only remain a prophet of the Lord, but Baal's prophets are 450 men. Elijah went up against 450 prophets yeah. to battle, sort of, to see which God was God. Yeah. At the time, Baal was the God they served. Yeah. So... Elijah stood up against the prophets of Baal, against yeah. Jezebel. They were Jezebel's prophets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He stood up against them and proved God was the true God. He stood up for God, he, the God he believed in. Amen. Amen. One last passage of scripture. Daniel chapter 6.
When you have it, say amen. <coughs> Daniel chapter 6, 7 through 10. All the presidents of the kingdom, the governors and the princes, the counselors and the captains, have consulted together to establish a royal, a royal statue and to make a firm decree that whosoever shall ask a petition of any god or man for thirty days, save of thee, O king, he shall be cast into the den of lions. Now, O king, establish the decree and sign the writing that it be not changed according to the law of the Medes, Medes and Persians, which altereth not. Wherefore, King Darius signed the writing and the decree. Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house and, has, and his windows being opened in his chamber toward Jerusalem. He kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God as he did aforetime. Amen. There was just a law passed that for 30 <coughs> days you worship King Darius yeah. instead of anyone else. As he did before, Daniel goes home and prays three times a day Come on. just like he had before with his window open toward Jerusalem. Amen. He stood up against what Darius had said, not to pray, not to pray to any other god. Now, the title of tonight's sermon is, "Are you going to stand up or sit down?" Come on. What I mean by that is, are you going to stand up for God's word or sit down, toss him out the window, listen to what the other preachers are saying? Come on. Like Jesus isn't the only way. Yeah. You only have to be saved once. Come on. They never mention hell. They never mention sin. Now, they don't even mention Jesus, the crucifixion. They yeah. take the crosses out of the church. They don't mention the cross. Come on. We need someone to stand up against that. Amen. Yeah. Was it, this, was it this past Sunday you mentioned the uh, Bible study at the bar? Mm -hmm. They, and what? They, they're not going, the preacher isn't going to the bar and reading the Bible with the people there, the, was it the deacons? Mm -hmm. The deacons and the pastor would go to the bar and have Bible study at the bar while drinking. Yeah. Also, a few years ago, probably still around, there was a church that had an open tap night for the men of the church who was old enough to drink. There would be drinking involved during the service. Yeah. We need someone to stand up against Come this. Come on. Amen. Amen. The problem is, we're too caught up in the numbers. Yeah. It doesn't matter about the numbers. The Bible says, where two or three are gathered together in my name, I will be in the midst. Amen. It doesn't matter about the numbers. Yes. Most preachers, it doesn't matter if you have one million or one. Come on. If, you've, if you're preaching the truth, as long as the one is saved, you've done what you're supposed to be doing. Come on. You're not supposed to be getting them in your church. That's not going to get you to heaven. You're Come supposed on. to be You're supposed to be leading them to heaven with you, not taking Amen. them to hell with you. Come on. Amen. They won't Amen. preach about the cross. They won't preach about the blood. They won't sing about the blood. Come on. They say you only have to be saved once. Jesus isn't the only way. They're saying <clears throat> all this and no one's getting saved from it. They're too caught up in the numbers. Yeah. I would rather someone not go to any of the fancy schools as long as they're preaching the word. I would go there rather than someone who did go to the fancy Bible school, get their degree, ah, get their degree and everything, and not preach the word. Yeah. There's no point in you getting some sort of decree, degree Come on. Ah, and not preaching the word. There's no point in it. Yeah. You you don't think about the numbers. You think about the people you're you're trying to save. Come on. That's the problem with the church now. Come on. They're trying. 
They're trying to save people. They're trying to get them into their church so they can save them with things the people are using to sin. They're using the rock music, I'm things on. like that. Yeah. I think there was another church that had different services, <clears throat> one on Saturday that would have like rap music or something, and then another service that would have the that would have a different type of music. Yeah. They would change it up and have different types of musics in those different services every week. Yeah. They were too caught up in the numbers. Yes. Everyone's too caught up in the numbers. Come on. When Paul and Silas were in jail, it was only two of them. Yeah. And yet, the Spirit was there, and the Lord saved them out of there. And a soul was saved that night. Come on. You don't, you're not supposed to think about the numbers. Yeah. We need someone who will stand up and say... You don't think about the numbers. Come on. Too many... There's too many preachers not standing up, preaching the word. They've thrown the real word out the door. They're Come getting on. all these different new versions. Yeah. And they're not preaching the truth. They've got God tossed out the door. The... One of the churches I mentioned said had something that said, this is not your grandma's church. Yeah. I mean. It's not your grandma's church. Yeah. No church. Most of the churches today are not your grandma's church. Come on. I mean. Are we going to stand up or sit down? Yeah. Give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. Amen.